Hey guys, it's Toby Morrison here from CFS Health Online Recovery Program. And this is probably the most important video you are about to watch in terms of embarking on your journey for recovery from chronic fatigue syndrome. And I certainly wish I had this uh, back when I was sick with this uh, 17 years ago now. It would have been an absolute lifesaver and would have probably saved two years of struggle and you know $30,000 worth of uh, trying quick fixes and whatnot to basically uh, you know help myself get well again. So, you know, obviously, if you're going through this right now, you're either in the stage of uh, going, what the hell is wrong with me? What's going on? My body feels like it's shutting down. Um, or you've just been diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome or ME, or, you know, fibromyalgia or any other post-viral kind of fatigue or uh, issue, this video is going to really help you. And so what I'm going to do is break down uh, 12 things to really help you with what to do when you're diagnosed with a chronic illness and uh, this will save you a lot of uh, struggle a lot of heartache and ultimately help you get on the right track to improve your health and well-being first of all what i want to say i've got uh, a little checklist here that i'm going to share with you in a moment on my screen but you're not crazy you're not making this up what you're going through is 100 percent real Okay, I've been through it myself. Uh, this is why I do this work because I didn't want to have to go through the pain and suffering that I have to go through on my own. And this is why we have our uh, you know, worldwide online recovery program. We help people in 51 countries. Okay, we've had incredible results for over 10 years now. And there's a framework and a system and there's a reason and patterns why people eventually uh, get better and improve their quality of life and improve their health and start living again. So first of all, you're not going crazy. You're not making this up, okay? You're probably the last person in the world to want to make this up, okay? Most people who are affected with things like chronic fatigue syndrome and such, uh, they're not lazy people, right? They're not people that just want to sit on the couch all day and do nothing. They're people who are usually the opposite. They're, they're go-getters. They want to do things in the world. They want to use their expertise. They want to be the best they can be. Okay, so I just want you to know that you're not alone. Uh, you're not going crazy. What you're going through is 100% real. And unfortunately, um, it's a bit of a wild circus out there on this journey to getting diagnosed sometimes. And um, unfortunately, a lot of people, especially when people we speak with when they join our program, you know, they've been told that it's all in their head, that they just need to push themselves, that they're just depressed. Um, that they're just not motivated, that um, it's just stress, or they just need to go for a walk or eat better and sleep better. And if it was that easy, we'd be all doing it, okay? So just want on the back just to know that, you know, what you're going through is 100% real um, and there is some help and some light at the end of the tunnel too. I'm going to share with you my screen right now. Again, this is just really, really important information that you really need to know. Um, as you start this journey to save a lot of heartache and struggle. So here we go here. You're gonna see my screen any second now. So first of all, we're gonna go here, understanding uh, CFS. And if you've got family members or a loved one with you right now, this is probably really great. Um, I'm not gonna to spend too much time. I'm gonna spend about one to two minutes, but let's just set the foundation. If you're going through this, this is, this is what you're experiencing. Physically, you're experiencing things like exhaustion, pain, brain fog, fatigue, muscle aches and pains, flu-like symptoms, gut issues, deconditioning, post-exertional malaise, uh, basically when you push yourself too much and then your body just doesn't recover uh, as a healthy person or a healthy body should, uh, low immune system, poor quality sleep, swollen glands, dizziness, sensitivities, irritability, cognitive issues, memory loss, and then neurological symptoms as well. So as you can see, just physically, that's extremely difficult to deal with. Um, I've done a whole video on this, by the way, you'll be able to find it on, on our YouTube channel somewhere um, on uh, how to understand what CFS is really like for family members. So you can go and check that out. But basically, um, emotionally, what is going on too, you're probably feeling really angry and frustrated and scared, reactive, 
worried. You might be feeling shame and guilt. You might have secondary anxiety and secondary depression uh, based off you, you're not being able to live the life that you want to live. Like it's pretty, it's pretty normal to feel that way if, you know, you're just someone who usually loves life and can do anything and then all of a sudden you can't. It's like the carpet has been swept from underneath your feet and that in itself is extremely challenging to deal with and we help our members deal with this as well because it can get in the way. You know, unnecessary suffering, um, you know, takes up a lot of time and energy, especially when you're dealing with game and, you know, uh, guilt and shame. Yeah. So back to this uh, share screen for a moment. So this, these are the just common things that you would be feeling. Yeah. All right. If you're feeling this, know it's normal. Okay. But hopefully after this video today, you're going to feel a lot different. Now let's get into it. So number one is don't panic. Okay, no need to panic. You really want to just uh, know that you've just been diagnosed. And basically, you know, what we say is that um, for whatever reason, you know, you've had every other uh, illness excluded and chronic fatigue syndrome and ME is the blanket umbrella diagnosis. Uh, to basically say you're experiencing, you know, six to eight symptoms that have been, you know, ongoing for anywhere from two to six months, depending on who um, diagnoses you, okay? There's lots of different um, uh, doctors with different kind of beliefs and diagnosis. Some doctors won't even, don't even believe in chronic fatigue syndrome, okay? That's still happening in the 21st century, which is just uh, crazy. And then there's other brilliant doctors who uh, totally understand it and get it, okay? So don't panic. Um, if you have a doctor who doesn't believe in you um, or is just disregarding you, um, do try and find a doctor who is empathetic and understanding, but don't expect them to fix you, okay? This is a really important um, piece to the puzzle because, and I met with a doctor yesterday, literally, and she said, she asked me what I did and I didn't know she was a doctor and I told her and I said, we have an online step-by-step -step recovery program uh, that works holistically on improving, you know, individuals health and life and uh, improve the quality of their life. And she said, Oh my God, that sounds brilliant. And she said, what's it in? And it says for people with chronic fatigue syndrome or chronic illnesses. And she was like, Oh my God, that's so needed. And because she said, you know, for us doctors, we're really great with acute problems that, um, you know, someone gets hit, hit by a car and they break their leg or, you know, things like that. But when it comes to chronic illness and chronic disease, we're, we're not that well trained in really helping people practically. And I said, well, that's exactly why I started this program because that's exactly what I needed when I was sick, okay? Um, so find a good doctor like that who totally gets it, who's understanding and empathetic and supportive of you, okay? And sometimes I know it can be really hard. Like we have people in 51 countries in our program and a lot of these guys... Um, have found it really hard to find a good doctor. We even have had doctors do our program as well, okay? So no, you're not alone, but also, you know, do try your best to find a doctor, but don't expect them to have the answers for you, okay? Um, they're there to support you, give you um, guidance medically if there's anything else going on. Um, but again, don't expect them to fix you. Number three is decrease the overwhelm by stopping desperately searching for quick fixes and cures. This one's a huge one. This will save you a lot of time and a lot of heart. I can give you some structure with this as well. Uh, later on, at the end of this video, I'm gonna to explain to you what you need to do instead. But basically we want to uh, make sure that we decrease the overwhelm by stop, stopping desperately searching for quick fixes and cures. It's very easy to think, oh, I just need to take this tablet or this pill or I need to, you know, if I just do this or I try this quick fad diet that everything will be better. And the sooner you stop trying to find a quick fix outside of yourself, the sooner you'll start to heal and start to improve. And I see this time and time again, even for people who have been ill for 20 or 30 years, um, when they finally stop searching for the answers outside of themselves and they start to have a holistic approach, they really do start to improve. Number four, stop chasing and worrying about symptoms once you have excluded any other illnesses. 
you do not want to keep focusing on all your symptoms. You don't want to focus on um, fixing your symptoms because your symptoms are just messages. Okay. Your body's just screaming out for help. Okay. In our program, uh, we really have a health focused approach. We do not have a disease focused approach. We have a health, we're a health program okay, that enhances the, uh, people's health. And when our health improves, our symptoms start to decrease. And it's really you know, a byproduct of getting our immune system right, getting our sleep right, uh, getting our gut health right, and overall, uh, basically reconditioning our bodies, our nervous systems, our brains, and ultimately, so it's working in coherence with each other, okay? But the sooner you stop chasing and worrying about symptoms and you start having a health-focused plan, uh, that's when things are going to really move for you. So number five is have a health-focused plan. And really what this means is, again, uh, looking objectively and going, okay, well, what's out of whack here? And you know you're going through this right now. Chronic fatigue syndrome affects everything. It affects your lifestyle. It affects your mindset. It affects your body, you know, uh there's a lot of stress involved because you're worrying about what was or what could be or what might not be and so there's uh, the, the thing that we need to focus on too but also you know your gut health your quality sleep your routine structure all that kind of stuff a lot of people uh really struggle with the ups and downs and this is why you need to get your baseline right i'm going to show you just quickly i've got a whole free training on this i'll leave a link in the description for you so once you finish this video uh, go and download it. It'll get sent to your email inbox and it's a 20 minute training on how to find your baseline. Basically, we want to stop pushing and crashing. Okay, so what happens? This is the typical view of most people when they get chronic fatigue syndrome. They, uh, let's go <clears throat> yellow. They actually, let's go green. <clears throat> they feel good. So they push themselves too much and then they feel like, like absolute crap. I call it the valley of death. Like you feel terrible, um, you know, it could be bed for a few days at a time, your symptoms flare up, you feel excruciatingly fatigued and in pain. You slowly come back up here and then you do it all over again. <laughs> it's this cycle of just ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. Hands up if you can relate. If you can relate to this, you're probably nodding your head going, oh my God, that's me. So what we want to do instead is figure out our current baseline in line with where our health is at, whether you're a one out of 10 or a five out of 10 or even a seven out of 10. We've got people with all works of life, whether you're in bed uh, 24 seven, can't leave the house or you're um, kind of half functioning, uh, but still struggling, yeah? Basically you want to figure out your baseline so you can start to progress appropriately and safely and effectively. Uh, without feeling worse than you currently do, okay? And this really is a huge step and this is exactly what we focus on inside our program for the first at least one month, usually two to three months, is we help all our members get their baselines right so they can stop pushing and crashing and start making progress, okay? That's really, really important. Stop the ups and downs, stop that one step forwards, three steps back and, you know, stop that process of just not finding progress instead. We want uh, consistency over intensity. We want to build up appropriately and we want to progress and then maintain, progress and maintain, um, excuse me. Um, so I'm going to show you just quickly. Again, I've got a whole free training on this. I'll leave it in the uh, description for you so you can just watch it, okay? Um, but again, this, this stuff is just so helpful. Like once you understand this and do it properly, you will just, you will notice a difference. So all the free trainings in here, guys, but basically less is more initially, consistency over intensity. We want to maintain, progress, maintain, and then also enjoy your baseline. You know, you're already under a huge amount of stress and pressure and you don't need to add any more stress and pressure in your life right now. We need to do the opposite, okay? So that's that. I'll leave the free training there for you as well so you can go check that out. Please finish this video first before you even do that. Number seven, don't be in negative support groups. Now, um, Unfortunately, there are, you know, support groups out there that really aren't that supportive and uh, they'll put you down. Uh, they might be nice to you to start with when you're saying how bad you feel because then it makes them feel good too. 
but ultimately they're not supportive, they're not practical and they don't help you get healthy. And so basically eliminate anything that doesn't make you feel good. And if you're reading negative stories or if you're um, hearing, uh, you know, uh, st stories that people are acting like they're facts, then just I would just eliminate that completely. Anything that's not enhancing your life or health, just eliminate. It's really simple. And when people join our program, um, they're so over over that stuff. They're just like, they just want support. They want encouragement. And they basically want uh, sound appropriate advice. And so they stop, um, you know, basically looking at those pity parties and uh, stop going around in circles. And they stop being a victim, basically. And they just want to focus on improving their health. So again, don't be in those negative support groups. Um, I, know, I know for a fact there's some really good ones too. Obviously, find the ones that enhance your life. But if uh, people are dragging you down and you're certainly not feeling any benefit from being in that environment, because environment is very, very important, then uh, please remove yourself from it. Makes sense, right? Like It's pretty, pretty uh, common sense. Number eight, find positive success stories. This is super, super important, yeah? Success leaves clues. And... If you look back, you can go through our YouTube uh, videos if you want. There's literally so many interviews of success stories. And if you want, you can see a common denominator and pattern with all these people. And they're quite similar. If you, if you listen carefully, you can take away their learnings that they teach you and their story and basically embed it in your own life. And so... Uh, we see this time and time again. So, you know, find positive success stories, learn from people who have done what you want to do and success leaves clues. So find those clues and ask them and, uh, you know, watch the videos properly and take notes and then apply it in your own life. But usually it's not the knowledge that you need. Sometimes it is the knowledge you need, but it's usually the application of the knowledge that you learn that's the most important thing. Now, this is really important. If you're with a family or, you know, a spouse, you have to do a strategic overview plan, okay? Um, one of the biggest things that I see, and I'll show you this now, actually. Let's do a diagram for it. So this is a big problem. What happens? You're in the middle here. You're in the mud. You're going, what the hell's wrong with me? What do I do? Oh, my God, I feel so terrible. Um, it, you know, and you do, like, it's not fun what you're experiencing right now, but remember, it is just an experience. It's not, doesn't have to be for life. Certainly hasn't been, in my case, certainly hasn't been in a thousand other people's case, and it wasn't a fluke. It's not a coincidence. Uh, it's possible. It does take time, and it does take doing the right things at the right time, but once you get that right, progress starts to happen. But let's say you're in the middle here, and you're going, oh, my God, what's wrong with me? And so what happens is you direct your energy, which is very scarce right now anyway, in so many different directions. You're trying uh, every modality under the sun. You're buying every supplement. You're spending thousands of dollars on supplements. You're seeing doctors over here. You're seeing uh, coaches here. You're watching way too many YouTube videos, which is paradoxical because you're watching this one. But I think the most important thing is nothing wrong with watching lots of videos as long as they're, again, enhancing you and moving you towards what you want. Um, but, you know, asking too many people for different bits of advice on Instagram who aren't really, you know, don't have the experience or uh, the results to really back it up. And you're overwhelming yourself. And what happens is all of this energy is just totally depleted. So you're left with zero. Yeah. And instead, what you want to do is have a strategic overview first of, of going, well, what do I actually need? Like when people join our program, we have a set application form first and we ask them, well, what is it that you need to focus on right now to move you forwards with your health? And if you have a real good think about it, you'll figure out one to three, maybe four things maximum of what you need. And maybe you don't even know what you need help with. And that's part of the puzzle is figuring that out. But once you start to have an overview and you go, okay, well, I really need to improve my sleep because that's just totally affected right now, which is interesting because most people who don't have chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue syndrome think that uh, people with CFS just sleep all day. And for sometimes in, in one phase, that's true. But on the other end of that phase is it's not true at all. Okay, sleep's totally out of whack. So 
let's say the sleep overview is one thing and then the other thing is nutrition and then the other thing is baseline okay like you've got to just stop pushing and crashing because it's not working whatever you're doing right now you can see that the upward trajectory is forwards yeah it's up and when you start to have a good overview, now, again, it could be totally different. For some of you right now, it could be mindset. I know a lot of people, when they join our program, they want help with their mindset. And that's why we have a mindset coaching session every single month. That's why we have a whole mindset program inside our app so they can watch it and really get help with their mindset uh, to kind of help them get more confident, to basically calm their nervous systems and to feel more relaxed. And it could be also... Uh, progression like how do I progress what do I do I don't know how to progress and there's just so many questions yeah so but you can see here the energy is going forwards we're, for, we're, we're utilizing our energy with what we do have and we're focusing and harnessing it on what we need not trying to do a million different things at once and getting nowhere so having an a strategic overview plan what do I really need right now is very very helpful now, you got to have a holistic approach. And again, I'll quickly just show you this. I think I've got a little diagram here. You know, here's a recovery wheel. Now, this is super, super basic, okay? But ultimately, here's just a few aspects of what we need to focus on in terms of having a holistic approach. Now, I have never met anybody who has recovered from chronic fatigue syndrome or any other chronic illness who said it was the supplements. It was just the supplements. I took this one thing. And if that was the case, it, I, personally, I would share it with everyone. And it's not the case. This is why I'm sharing this work because this is, this is it. This is what I have seen for as long as I've been alive, that the people that improve are the ones who work holistically on their health, okay? On their emotional well-being, their immune system, their physical uh, aspect and reconditioning their body, not pushing themselves, not doing great exercise therapy, but actually... Uh, restoring energy in their body so they can physically recondition their body. Quality sleep, gut health and nutrition, nervous system, and mindset. Now, I've really made it simple here, but, uh, you know, having a holistic approach is super, super important. Um, but doing it from a place of relaxation and calm, nothing good comes from doing it from a desperate place, okay? This is why I said before, you've got to have an overview first. Do an inventory of your current situation circumstances and then make a plan based off of that. And, you know, you don't need to add more complex to what's already complex. We need to simplify what's going on and then make a plan and then do it, okay? Super important. It was never, I've never seen anyone get better from just supplements or just one thing alone. The way I look at it is it's a holistic approach. There are different pieces to the puzzle that you need. Everyone's different, by the way, but depending on what you need, you're going to put the pieces of the puzzle together, which will then basically make a whole, help your body heal and start to improve and live again. Number 11, if you can get the right support, mentors and guidance that would be brilliant now this is perfect example you know this youtube channel there's hundreds and hundreds of videos uh, on here that guide you give you practical advice and help you move forwards so <clears throat> if you can yeah find a mentor find support find guidance and i think the most important thing is just whatever you resonate with the most um you know, I used to see when I was going through this, we saw literally almost hundreds of different people. And there was only a few people that I really resonated with. And I ended up working with for, you know, a period of time. And those people were the ones that helped me make the biggest difference. But the key was they were helping me help myself. I wasn't looking to them for them to fix me, although I did for about two years, because that's why I thought you'd get better is someone would give me something that then I'd get better. And I tried everything. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then you basically just want to make sure you're getting the right help support. And again, if you've got the resources and you can pay for it, then do that. If you don't, then 
look online, be resourceful and uh, get the free help as you can. I've got here, have a plan and have a structure and routine to achieve that plan. Uh, you know, it's not a coincidence why people get better. I've never seen that go through every single interview I've ever done with anyone who has recovered. It wasn't a, it wasn't a coincidence. It's because they had a plan and they did the right things at the right time. Okay. And then they move forwards. The right things at the right time move forwards. And what got you here won't get you there. So things need to change as you progress as well. Um, again, that's way too much to talk about in one video. We our, Just in our program, there's like 25 hours worth of coaching videos just pre-recorded. Okay. But you, you understand what I'm trying to say here. Like it's not, <clears throat> it's not just one thing and that one thing changes over time depending on where you're at. But the more you tune into yourself and figure out where you're at and what you need is going to really help you make the right decisions for you, yourself right now. Embed accountability in your life. This one is so important. Because it's so easy when you feel so terrible, when you wake up in the morning, it's just so easy to have a bad day. Um, it's so easy not to do have a morning routine. It's so easy to not know your baseline. It's so easy to not plan or have intentions for your day because you might not feel that good. Uh, famous doctor, Dr. Lionel Lubitz, who, who wrote the forward of my book, and he was my doctor when I was sick as a teenager. And he said to me, Toby, you can't do too much, but you can't do too little. And you have to find the right amount for you. And this is how I created the uh, baseline framework because ultimately, you know, it's not as easy as just going for a walk and eating well and sleeping well. Like you need a plan uh, based off where you're at and you need to stick to that plan for a period of time in order to get results. And when you do that for a period of time, that's what starts to happen if you are doing the right things and you'll get feedback, okay? Uh, this is why we have a daily tracking system in our program just for the first two weeks of joining. Um, I'm not big on micromanaging. I don't think that's good long-term, but short-term to figure out where you're at on all different levels and energy levels um, and health levels is important. But basically, you've got to embed accountability into your day. Because if you don't, human nature is we won't go and do it, right? We won't go and do what we know we need to do in order to move forward. So if you can find accountability somehow, whether it's through a coach, uh, whether it's through a friend, uh, if you can, I would highly recommend, uh, you know, getting an, outside, an outsider's accountability. It's so important. I have in my life, um, and this is why in our program, we... Our biggest thing is, in account is accountability. Every single week we have an accountability check-in with the entire group. Every single member in our program from 51 countries shares a win, an insight, or a learning from the previous week. Every single week there is group coaching that anyone can join and ask questions inside the program. Um, every single week you can ask questions in our, in our group and you'll get a response. Every single week, uh, you know, you can jump in and get direct coaching when you need it. So... There's accountability there. And the reason why I put that in is because it is so important in this day and age, because it is so easy to be distracted, to stay accountable. And it's easy and it's normal to fall off track. And so if you can't find uh, accountability and support, the best thing you can do is find it within yourself. Um, set up frameworks, figure out what works for you and what you know works for you, and then figure out a framework that's going to help you stay the course and also know that it's normal to fall off track it's okay to have bad days. Remember, don't let a bad morning ruin a good day. Don't let a, a bad week ruin a good month. Um, you know, you're going to fall off the horse. It's, it's human nature, but it's how quick you get back up, how quick you can get back on and start doing what you know works for you. And, um, you know, the process can be uh, amazing and brilliant. So I hope this video helps. Um, I know it's kind of, it feels prob probably a little bit long, but at the same time, it's kind of short. You know, I, I really just tried to cover the basics. There's a lot more to it, but it's not, doesn't have to be hard. You don't have to make it any harder than what you're going through. And we can actually simplify it and break it down and make it a little easier for you. So what I would recommend is uh, go and do the things that I've suggested here. Um, and then, Go and check out the free baseline training that, training that will help you get started with and figuring out your baseline. 
And then go and explore the YouTube channel. There's literally hundreds of videos that will resonate with you uh, on particular subjects. And then if you want more help and you just want to take action now and you don't want to keep doing this on your own, um, which is what I didn't want to do when I was going through it, then uh, fill out an application form. Watch the video on that page. You'll understand how it all works. And then uh, our team will send you some information on how we can help you. And if you're a good fit, we'll have a chat and make sure that, um, you know, we know exactly what your goals are, where you're at, and what you specifically need help with right now to help you move forwards. And at the end of the day, CFS Health's vision and mission is really just to help people improve the quality of their health and start living again. And ultimately, that's what this is all about. That's what it's all about, is starting to live again. And uh, it is just so cool to see people of all walks of life, ages from, you know, under 15 all the way up to 80 years old, male and female, um, you know, short-term, long-term struggle and suffering and still start to improve the quality of their life and health and start to live again. And uh, like I said, once you figure out where you're at and what you need and you start to do the right things at the right time, um, progress can start to happen. So hope this helps and uh, I'll leave all the links in the description so you can help yourself to them. And uh, yeah, we'd love to hear uh, how this video was helpful for you in the comments. Let us know the most uh, insightful one. Take care for now and we'll speak to you soon.